Okay, so we're gonna go outside and do our first coat of paint on the helmet. Um, so let me walk you through what my plan is for, for that whole process. Uh, there are three components that I'm planning on using, um, a paint, some graphite powder, and then, a, and then a clear coat sealant. So for paint, we're using this Rust-Oleum uh, metallic spray paint, um, color is dark steel. I didn't realize that it was a paint and a primer, but I actually think this is gonna work out really well for us because there are some spots where uh, we sand it down almost basically back to plastic from uh, removing some Bondo. So I think this is gonna be really well, do really well because it's got some primer built into it and I didn't wanna put some extra primer filler back on here because then I'd have to go back and sand uh, the whole surface around it again. So I think this will work uh, a lot better than I had originally intended. After we do at least one or two coats of this and we'll see how it looks standing in between, uh, we're gonna move on to graphite powder. Uh, this is something that I have seen talked about on some forums while I was doing some research on this. Um, basically, the idea is you put down a base coat of a color. I've seen some people do glossy black. Some have said dark steel. Uh, and then you basically buff this into the paint. Uh, I haven't opened it yet, but it's a really fine uh, dust and powder. Uh, you just put some on there or take a cotton pad or cloth and then just buff it in. And it'll give you a, a metallic reflective look. Uh, We'll see how that works with this type of paint. I'm hoping it'll work really well, but we're gonna get some paint on there first before we pop this open and try it. After that, uh, this is kind of where I ran into some information searching issues. So this is just a standard glossy clear coat. Um, but from what I've seen, some people said if you use a clear coat on graphite powder, uh, it either washes this off or just completely dulls the effect to the point that you doesn't even look like you have it. I, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I'm gonna do some research on it while stuff dries and you know I'm, I'm going in between coats. But the idea is after the graphite powder, we do a light coat of this around to help seal this in and then go back over it with one, uh, one or two very clear and heavy coats. So that's the process. Uh, we're gonna start with just normal paint. So I'm gonna crack this can open. We'll go outside and we'll put a whole coat of paint on the helmet. So I took the helmet outside for its first coat of paint. It was actually the only one that I did, uh, and it actually turned out really well, and I didn't think it needed another one after I was done. This initial coat was a very heavy coat, and I eventually learned it was better to do light coats of the paint. Trying to do one continuous spray would lead to these spots on the helmet that would like look like lines of just lots of paint pooled in one spot. So doing light coats going back and forth slowly works out better than doing one continuous stream of a paint because it's going to give you a better and more seamless coat as opposed to just doing one flooding of it on, on the helmet. So here it is after we did a coat of the dark steel paint on the helmet. Um, I think it looks really good. It's definitely got a metallic spackle to it that stands out. Um, I did after it was done drying for about 24 hours, just to be sure, I did try a, a small amount of the graphite powder in an inconspicuous area right here. Um, doesn't really show very well, and there are a few reasons behind that. One, I didn't use all that much. Uh, I probably used maybe a gram of it. Uh, and two is because I think I have my steps backwards. Uh, I did originally say we would do paint, graphite powder, then a clear coat. Um, but after some research and speaking to a very helpful Reddit user, uh, I think I kind of have the last two flipped. So what he recommended was doing was doing a coat of dark steel, making sure it's, it's very good and how you want it. Then you do a very heavy clear coat, and then you do graphite powder. So I did a small test on a scrap piece that on a failed print. Um, but it got a painting of dark steel on it, and then the right side got some clear coat, and the left side got no clear coat. And then I rubbed and buffed some small amount of graphite powder into it uh, to see if I could notice a difference. And from what I can see, the right side, um, you can kind of see a little darker splotch right in the middle. Um, some of the graphite powder I didn't finish rubbing in. But to me, and it doesn't show very well on camera, the right side reflects the light a little bit better than the left side. Um, you can kind of see it. Uh, it doesn't stand out as well on camera as it does in person, but I think this is a good approach. So the plan is now we're gonna go and give this a nice heavy clear coat, make sure it's uh, smooth and, and everything as clear coats need to be. And then once that fully dries for about 24 hours, or so, give or take. Um, then we will come back and we will do a very uh, heavy and strong 
rub of graphite powder onto the whole helmet, uh, rubbing and buffing and using way more than you probably think. His recommendation was it takes a lot more uh, than what you would think, and it just takes it took it took him a lot to get the shine that he that he achieved. So we're gonna do a clear coat right now, and then once that fully dries, we'll be back doing a. Uh, rub and buff of some graphite powder to see if we can get that shine and then afterwards we do a final clear coat on the outside to seal it all in so let's go get some clear coat on this so this was another situation where hindsight was 2020 and that i learned it was better to do multiple small strokes of the clear coat as opposed to one big heavy flooding of it uh, eventually this would lead to pooling and drips and just kind of a bad look overall on the helmet but i didn't know that until i was done so here we can see that I'm rubbing in the graphite powder. I'm doing this on a box because I didn't want to stain anything. And I basically took some cotton pads and paper towels and gloved hands and just kind of put a little bit on the helmet, rubbed it in, and then used my hands and cotton pads to buff it into the paint and get a nice shiny, glossy finish before going back at the very end with another cotton pad and just wiping off any loose dust before giving it one final coat of clear coat to seal it in. And then once that was dry, I went back and did another heavy coat of clear coat to really bring out the shine and keep everything sealed and locked onto the helmet. I did this outside with a total of about three light clear coats on the outside to finish off the helmet, waiting about 10 minutes in between each coat, waiting for it to be dry to the touch before doing another light coat before I finished with about three light coats and then moving on to my final stages. So here I'm doing something that I need to go back and redo and you'll see why. Uh, but I'm masking off the ear and the ear pad thing uh, to paint them black because in the show these two uh, exposed parts have black detailing on them. So I'm masking them off, going to give them a black spray paint uh, of just standard enamel black paint to give it that detail of the, sh of the show. Um, but you'll see in a second that I needed to go and redo it anyways. So here it is. After doing some on and off work for about a week on it, uh, this is what we've ended up with. So uh, as a quick recap of the whole process, we did a coat of primer and then a coat of this Rust-Oleum Dark Steel paint, followed by a clear coat, uh, followed by graphite powder, uh, and then topped off with a light clear coat to seal it, and then another clear coat on top to give it a bit more of a shine. So uh, I'm actually extremely happy with how it turned out. I think it looks great. Uh, a lot better in specific lighting than in some, but especially right now on camera, I think it looks very close to the actual prop in the show uh, with some minor differences in it. Um, but for very first attempt at doing any kind of like mass uh, large prop painting like this that I've never done, I think it's turned out really well. Um, I have it on towel drying from being washed. I'll explain that in a second. Um, this is actually my second attempt at painting it. Uh, if you saw a little bit of the time lapse earlier, I actually had taped off some of this to add some black details that were like that you can see in the show. Um, after doing that and just some other work on it, it kind of went to shit. Um, I don't know if I should be cursing on camera. I don't know. Uh, it, it didn't. It just it looked it looked awful afterwards. So um, between a mix, I think of bad a bad choice in painters tape. Uh, to mask some stuff off mixed with trying to seal some stuff with a clear coat. I got bad drips, like especially running on the top here that like picked up some of the graphite powder so it all ran and you could just see a big pool of powder here and it, just, it looked awful. Um, so I went and I sanded this thing back to base. We need to take the whole line back to formula. Back to formula. With just Bondo and primer visible uh, and then ran over the whole thing with excuse me one second, uh, whole thing with lacquer thinner that I picked up at Home Depot uh, to smooth it all out and get rid of like all of the extra paint on it and everything. Because when I sanded it, uh, I went back, primed it, it cracked just like mud everywhere. The primer just wasn't sticking. It looked, it looked awful. Um, so I bought some lacquer primer, went back, wiped it all down, and just started over. Um, I did that whole process between sanding, painting, or sanding, lacquer thinner, painting, uh, and and everything else in the span of about a day and a half. Uh, a lot easier when you're not recording and you know what you're doing. Uh, and it just, honestly, this looks, uh, to me, honestly, this looks incredible. I think the shine is awesome. It reflects so much light 
and see if I can, yeah, see it on camera. It reflects so much and so well. Uh, I'm super proud with how it turned out, even though I had to go back and do it again. Um, so down the line, I'll probably go back and paint and mask off some of this and I'll get a paintbrush and do it by hand so it's easier. Um, and I'll add it in the black, but I'll get to that later. Uh, but even then, like this whole thing just looks so much better than my first attempt. There are no runs from clear coat. There's no no splatter, no buildup of, of extra paint anywhere. Um, one big thing I did was doing light coats of everything, just like on and off, back and forth, uh, instead of kind of just going over it like, like this. Uh, it turned out so good. So my next step now is to... Well, there are two things we need to do. Uh, one, obviously, is add the face shield. I picked one up off Amazon. That's going to be really simple. We just slot it. We just cut it uh, and slot it in. I'll probably just hot glue it for now until I can pick up some stronger epoxy. And then, uh, before that, I've been working on kind of like a speaker microphone system to make it so it's easier to hear me while wearing it uh, and so it sounds a little bit more like it is in the show. Uh, that's going to probably be the next part really quick. I've actually kind of already built it. I'm prototyping it. I'll just kind of go over how it works, um, and then we'll we'll get it slotted in uh, after that's done. So we're almost done. A few more days of work, I hope, uh, and hopefully these next few videos will be out a lot quicker than the last one was. But I just I'm so happy with how this turned out. I think it looks so cool. Um, I hope it helped. Uh, if I've, I'm not a master of painting anything by any means, but if anybody's got any questions. Uh, I can do my best to answer them. And if you've got tips, leave them down below because I think I need a lot more uh, to help with painting the rest of my stuff. So thank you for watching. I really hope you learned something. I did. And uh, I, I just, I hope this was helpful to you in some way. So thanks for watching. Come by next time.